What up guys, today I'm going to make this video not necessarily a review but kind of like a showcasing of what Black Pomade is. We dropped this yesterday, a collaboration between me and Rust and Pomade Company. Um, basically reaction was fantastic, we sold about 70% of our stock in under 18 hours and so we're left with like a little, about 300 jars left and so we expect that to sell out in the really near future. So if you're interested, I just want to go ahead and mention this before I go into the video that the link is available to you guys below and yes. But basically what I want to talk about real quick is just the reaction like to Black and the reason why I gave almost like no description to this actual product when it was released. And that's because I wanted to leave it up to you guys. I mean, a lot of people give information about like the product and it's not necessarily true. And even reviews are only a partial bit of the truth. And so I sold this to basically the followers that basically trust the name, that have confidence in the pump and that anything we release will always be of the utmost quality or at least what we perceive to be the utmost quality. And also we made like, great sales to the people who trust their own opinions above others and want to see a product for themselves, want to use it and then determine how they perceive a product to be. But so of course we also have those people who don't have the integrity or rather the ability to judge things for themselves and need someone else to tell them what things are. And so this is what this video is for to basically provide those type of people or just in general a full final description of at least what we want to achieve with the black pomade. But yeah, so this is not a review, so we can go through this like pretty quickly. Basically, moving into styling, what we wanted to create was essentially a black water-based pomade, not a gel pomade, but a true water-based pomade. And like the ones that we've seen recently, which styled like an oil-based pomade, but had the ability of being a lot cleaner and also washing out in one single go. And what we created was essentially a lightweight product with like a medium hold. And the reason why I went for this is because I wanted to begin to develop a, not necessarily a discrepancy, but encourage people to see that weight and the hold in a product are two independent like variables, two independent characteristics that are connected in a lot of ways, but not entirely like dependent 100% on each other. And the reason why it's a black pomade is because if you guys have seen some of the waxier products, if you have any sort of wax beads and stuff like that, and you have darker hair, the product shows up real easily. And I didn't want that issue to occur with this pomade. And especially with water-based pomades now, um, they typically have a really high wax content or at least products that are not fully transparent. And so by adding like the black color into it, it helps out those of us with like really darker hairs and really keeps our nice like luster to the color. Not necessarily adding a bunch of shine, that's like a whole different story, but just keeping this nice deep black luster. And so, like I said, lightweight, it feels really clean. It's really similar to like the whole Rustern uh, Supreme hold, but quite a few changes. Took away a bit of the greasiness to keep it lighter keep it light and feel and also add a bit more wax change a few things to keep it like a nice more slicker without the greasiness and also a little bit more of a dry hold and also the scent for the scent I actually uh, let Rocky go ham on it he had a vision for it and so I just let him go off on it and what we ended up is with like a citrus woody kind of like black licorice scent so really true or just embodying the concept of black pomade. And so obviously it smears super easy. It has like a strange like stickiness to it that really helps style. Like we went through a few revisions of course and the stickiness is really what set this formula apart from the other testers. And uh, overall, like, I'm really happy with the product. And the pricing wasn't too bad either. Um, I know we had issues of kind of driving the price as low as possible, but just getting this pomade black was actually one of the biggest driving forces behind uh, this product. It's just 
To get a water base, a like Pombe Black, which has always been a challenge for many other brewers, turns out it's possible, but it's not cheap. So we were able to do it, but not without sacrifice. So it's still cheaper than some of the other clubs I had before, but yeah. Other way, this will be the last scoop. And I actually do really need a haircut. But you'll notice it applies pretty like easy, straightforward. Um, lightweightness is something I really, really wanted to embody with this pomade. Because, like, let's say you're trying to get a lot of hold out of the product. I mean, you can go like the heavy route. You can build like an ignorant ass truck and put in like the biggest engine ever and just get as much power as possible. Or, you can optimize between like a lightweight car and optimizing like for like the engine that best balances between power and weight for your situation. And so that's a, that takes a little more craft and that's what I wanted to kind of challenge Rocky with, which is basically, here's a lightweight product. Now add more, more and more hold to it without taking it away from being a lightweight pomade. And the nice part is, once you have that lightweight pomade, because it's lightweight, the natural characteristics of your hair like, will always be retained. Like, it won't turn into a block ass like pomp and stuff like that. So now I'm going to head style the pomp just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, and so now this is what we have. We have a nice full pump, no part, and just like an overall like nice shape because it is a lightweight like medium hold product. So medium hold we get like a nice balanced hold, not too strong. If it's too strong it starts getting really boxy. But the lightweightness also allows your hair to curl, fight back a little bit, and also maintain like a naturalness so it doesn't look like someone else's hair is on your head. It looks like it's like something that fits you, something that looks still a little bit natural but also just formed into like a more just more voluminous like nicely spherical pump. And even this product because I, I did push it to be like a little more dry you can still like finger comb and make something that's like relatively nice. It's not a clay but because of the just like a dry characteristic of this product, it still lends itself to like a nice finger comb, like Bessie sort of look. And so that's convenient because like if this product gets messed up during the day, if you're like playing sports afterwards, you can still work with it. You can still do something with it. And of course, it's a water-based pomade, one of the new ones, so it doesn't dry up at all. And it stays really malleable and like easy to work with. And yeah, so this isn't a review. I'm not going to return like later in the day to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And basically, that's all I really wanted to give to you guys. Just a general overall look of or at Black Pomade. And so, other than that, take care guys. If you're still interested, if there is still any in stock, you will find it via the link I provided to you. And yeah, other than that, have a good weekend guys and happy Halloween.